So I made the mistake again on my lav mic of forgetting to turn on the battery. So I've just shot 30 minutes of me talking about various different subjects with no audio. So cue Carlo. So right now, this is shooting in 4K at 24 frames per second. Most of, if not all, the video I've shot with this Canon M50 mirrorless has been at 1080p with 60 frames per second. But for a talking head, you don't really need the 60 frames per second, so I'm trying out the higher video quality. It is sort of windy. Um, uh, a shotgun mic wouldn't work too well right now, so I have a, a lav mic on, plus I don't have a shotgun mic. I had a cheap one and it broke after the second time I used it. So that's probably one of my next purchases. One of the things that I want to make the main point of today, and I've said it in a lot of video of me talking to myself that I'll probably edit out, but I want to make sure I get it in this is don't make excuses. There's always going to be chores and not perfect weather and things to do get out and ride if that's if that's what your passion is don't live your passion through watching other people like me or actual experts <laughs> on youtube and trying to plan the perfect route and the perfect trip and get and and not having the the what you've deemed from your research as the perfect gear like tent or whatever headlamp and so you're not going on a great trip because you don't have the right headlamp yet or you're waiting on you know a cooking stove cooking pot that's super high speed instead of just taking one out of your kitchen and uh and making do for that time being nothing's ever going to be perfect in life unless you have minions and lots of money to make everything perfect for you. So just get out and do it. I was up till five o'clock this morning trying to unscrew some, some videos that I've shot. Right now I have probably about 15 videos in the hopper that I just need to edit and publish. And for me, that's the discouraging thing about this YouTube channel is initially I rode more trying to create videos. Uh, and then quickly the video starts stacking up because when you're on a ride, you could do four or five different topics in different spots. And now you have five videos and it takes me 40 minutes to an hour to edit down um, all my stuff into like a five to 10 minute video. So for each topic I'm covering, you're spending an hour, sometimes two hours on the back end uh, just to get that video done. And then when you're done loading the video, you start going about how can I make my channel better, my website better. So you start screwing around, trying to figure out how you monetize a YouTube channel or how you become an affiliate partner for like Amazon. So you can make a little bit of money and cover some of the cost of all the stuff you just bought because you're an amateur and you don't have sponsors. Uh, and then you, you go for all the fancy whiz bang website stuff and realize it's just a distraction and makes loading up on mobile devices slow. And so you try to change your web page, and then every time you change it, it throws off the formatting of something else and like a link that was to that spot. Once you move that whatever it was that in that spot, it's no longer linked. So you end up just redoing things over and over again, at least for me, because I am completely self taught. I know how to shoot video on an iPhone and that was about it. I didn't know how to use iMovie. I didn't know how to uh, edit software or adjust a camera and aperture and ISO speed and all that kind of stuff. I used to know way back when I was using like Nikon cameras in as a recon marine, but I've forgotten all that stuff. That was like 20 years ago. And so trying to adjust all that kind of stuff um, is now for me in post production. And it takes time. And, and what I found myself this morning is I wanted to go out and ride, but I had all this work to do to try to put out some videos because it's it was probably about a month I haven't done anything. And I started to feel guilty. And then one of my nine followers or whatever was like, hey, why haven't you put out any video? And so I can only imagine having 
to stick to a, a good schedule if you were like a professional YouTuber. Thank God I have a, a day job. Another thing that puts pressure on you is, you know, a lot of the, the professional YouTubers say to try to publish a video a week. That's, that's a lot. You know, for me, I work uh, 10 hour days. So I come home and I, I eat, watch a little TV, go to bed, get ready in the morning and then back. That's basically my day. So I don't have a lot of time. Um, mostly because I, I wasted watching TV and relaxing after work. So I don't have a lot of time during the work week. And then on the off days, you want to go out and do something. You don't want to sit in your house editing. You want to get out and make videos like this that who knows when you'll publish because you got probably 45 minutes to an hour worth of stuff to splice down into a 10 minute video or maybe a two part. So that's one of the frustrating things about being a new YouTuber is just learning, learning the system and you're not being proficient at anything. Uh, like I just shot 40 minutes, 20 minutes of video and I didn't have my mic on. Uh, and I don't even remember what I said. So that's, that's part of the frustrations. And, you know, I'd like to say my apology of why I haven't posted, but you know what? I don't know why I would apologize that I'm not guilty for anything. You know, I'm enjoying my life and I do this as I grow, um, if I keep on doing this, you know, maybe I'll get more followers and I'll feel a little bit more pressure or obligated to do some gear reviews, excuse me, to do some gear reviews and stuff like that. I have a few installation videos I just did. One's already posted and it's the, uh, installing a BMW 300 series car horn on this bike to replace the the little beaker meat meat horn. Uh, it was about, it was under 20 bucks. It's for a car. It has the same connector, so it's plug and play. The only thing I had to do is I had to grind down uh, a bracket just a little bit on a hand grinder just to get it to fit so the horn was facing forward. You could probably make it work with the horn facing down, but I wanted it facing forward. So. So I got about 120 decibels of car horn loudness for about 20 bucks versus spending 120 bucks on a Soundbomb Mini um, or a bigger bigger car horn that has an air compressor. Now you're doing a whole bunch of stuff and make it more complicated so there's more ways for it to fail. So I posted that. The other thing I did is uh, a quick video of removing my V-Stream windshield and putting back on the stock windshield. Just just to show you how simple that is. And then the other video I've shot was putting on, and I'll tilt the camera down a little bit. If I hit the right. Was installing these SW Motec um, in engine guards, cylinder head guards. Because as you can see, you got the the bar here, the crash bar, but what happens if you hit a rock in here, it tears up that magnesium and you lose a cylinder head, man, and it's your day's over with. And you're getting a second job to fix those things. So I got that one in the works as well. I got a few rides, a lot of vlogs, um, and I was thinking the vlogs were going to be my money maker just to put out some more regular content, but that, that was the one that I had a problem loading up. So. We'll see.